Okay, so this problem says, while outdoors on a sunny day, a student, a student holds a large convex lens of radius 4 centimeters above a sheet of paper to produce a bright spot on the paper that's 1 centimeter in radius, rather than a sharp focus. What factor is the electric field in the bright spot of light related to the electric field in the sunlight leaving the side of the lens facing the paper? All right. <clears throat> So essentially what this problem is saying is here is the lens, here is a sunlight and that's being focused to there. Okay. So what is the sunlight there? Uh, uh, what are the ratios of the strengths in the electric field there and there? Okay. Now the same energy, this energy got packed in here. E2 will be greater than E1. The electric field at this point will be greater than that. Okay. So obviously, so let's, we'll calculate this ratio. Okay. So this problem is all about using this field right to relate the two? No, it's, it's about, okay, so, <clears throat> The energy passing per second here, this area, is equal to the energy per uh, per second there. So the power at point one and power at point two are the same. Okay, power. Intensity, I one is P one over A one. Intensity, I two is P one. P2 over A2 equal to P1 over A2. Okay. So, <clears throat> all right. And intensity is the average uh, magnetic field. It's uh, E max, B max. Okay. So here is intensity is E max, B max. <clears throat> over 2 mu naught and uh, <coughs> B max is E max over C so E max square um, over 2 mu naught C so the intensity is Intensity of the beam is related to the amplitude of the electric field like that. Okay. Intensity of the beam is related to that. <clears throat> All right, so let's add a page here. <clears throat> so again, uh, I'm just rewriting this. Intensity is E max amplitude of the electric field divided by 2 mu naught C. E max is uh, okay. So, what are we trying to find? The amplitude of the electric field at point 2 divided by amplitude of electric field at point 1. 2 mu naught C intensity at 2 divided by 2 mu naught C intensity at point 0.1. Okay. Intensity at 2 divided by intensity at 1. And <clears throat> so from here, intensity at 2 divided by, in so from these equations, I'll number them. 1 and 2. Okay. So I2 2 divided by 1 gives you I2 by I1 equal to P1 over A2 P1 over A1.
Okay, so the intensities are inversely proportional to the area. Okay, and that makes sense. The smaller the area, greater the intensity. And this is equal to pi r1 square pi r2 square. And the pi cancels r1 square over r2 square. <coughs> Okay, so what we have here is the ratio of the electric fields, the ratio of the amplitude of the electric fields, E2 over E1 is equal to square root of I2 over I1. to square root of r1 square over r2 square r1 over r2 okay so this is four centimeters divided by one centimeter right So E2 over E1 is 4. Okay. <clears throat> so again, all we are saying here is the following. So what we have found is if, um, if the cross section of the beam reduces by a factor of 10, the amplitude of the electric field increases by a factor of 10. So that's what this problem is telling you. Okay. All right, let me stop this recording while you guys ask.